I've got January's Pro Wrestling Crate to open. Lots of cool stuff, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and get it open right now. What's up guys? I have January's Pro Wrestling Crate, like I said, to open. Not sure what the theme was, but I, you know, we'll find out when we open the box. But before we open that, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe before you leave. Hit the thumbs up to like this video if you like what you see. And hit the bell for notifications if you'd like to see more in the future. I do a lot more other than wrestling videos. Uh, I do wrestling once a month, but I do actually mostly make Funko related stuff and collectibles and things like that. So this is Pro Wrestling Crate. I have been subscribed to this crate for probably coming up on three years now. I really like this box a lot. Uh, there's usually two shirts in here, usually an autograph uh, from a professional wrestler. And then a bunch of other little stuff like micro brawlers and things like that, which is their sort of signature figure, I guess you want to say. It's like a signature figure that they do. All right, the card is on the top here. Spoiler alert, alert the other side of this card contains the contest. So the theme for January was simply January 2021. Uh, I'm not going to look at the other side because it will tell me what all was in that box. But we'll pull this stuff out. I don't remember who was in this box. I think Roddy Piper might have been in this box, who of course is my favorite of all time. Uh, but I could be wrong, that might be the February box or something like that. All right, the first thing I like to do is take the shirts out and set them aside and not really look at them, make sure there's nothing in between. Oh, there is something in between. Uh, so in between the shirts though, there was a sticker, uh, Micro Brawlers sticker. That's pretty cool because I have a ton of these micro brawlers so it's cool to get the little logo in sticker form I like that we may make that into a magnet and put it behind me because I actually really like that one a lot that's pretty cool so yeah there you go the first thing in the box was a micro brawlers sticker all right something I've, I'm not familiar with here something on a card with a bubble uh, it is Oh, that is nice. That is the Jake the Snake Roberts Micro Brawler. I like the new packaging. Wow, on a card. That is super cool. I'm not actually going to take this one out then. I took them out of the plastic bags. I'm not going to take them out of these cards because this is really cool. On the back, guys, there's a card that you can cut out if you want to have like a Jake the Snake Roberts like trading card almost so that is jake the snake micro brawler that's what we got the sticker from guys see the sticker the, the logo right there that's the sticker that we just got as well so jake the snake roberts micro brawler with damien the snake that is really really cool that's pretty cool i'm gonna assume that's damien i don't think damien was actually a damien wasn't a cobra and that's a cobra I think Damien was like a boa constrictor or something like that. Um, I don't remember if the Cobra had a name. I do remember the Cobra, that bit Macho Man, right? Remember that? Uh, very, very, very scary. <laughs> that was like traumatizing when I was a kid. Uh, all right, let's see what else is in here, guys. All right, the pin, guys. The pin in this set here. This is a two-part pin. It's RVD doing a high kick to another wrestler holding the chair. Each individual is a single pin. I'm gonna take it out of this card. Hopefully we can get a better picture of that. So there you go, guys. That's actually a really cool pin set too. Uh, two pins, RVD, and then just some other random guy holding a, uh, a chair. That could be Stone Cold over there. Looks like he's bald, got black tights on black knee knee braces so it could, could be stone cold uh but yeah that one's pretty cool too i like that set so tell me what you think about that guys i'm trying to see if that is actually there's no way to tell for sure if that's stone cold there's no logo or anything but it could very well be stone cold steve austin uh and then rvd doing his like high kick to the chair that's a really cool pin set so the next thing in here guys i was right roddy piper was in this box 
Uh, it's a Brawler Balls, kind of like the old Mad Balls that we used to get when we were kids. That is Roddy Piper from They Live with the sunglasses. It says, does it say Hot Rod? What do the sunglasses say? Yeah, Hot Rod. Uh, and then it's got like the They Live alien kind of feature right here. That's why he's blue with the, with the red right there. If you've never seen that movie, it's a pretty great movie. I love Roddy Piper. He's like, he's absolutely my favorite. This is a very cool new thing that they've done here. Kind of like the old Mad Balls. Uh, I don't know if I want to take it out though, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose the tag right here. This is a pretty cool tag. Brawler Balls, Rowdy Roddy Piper, made by Pro Wrestling Crate or Pro Wrestling Tees. And then uh, there's all the other information on, what is it called? Mad Balls? Brawler Balls. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. Man, they, they always have really great stuff in these boxes. I definitely am a big fan of Roddy Piper, and this is a good movie. So that's a cool thing to get out of this box. So the next thing in here, guys, it's a comic book. Uh, Thunder Rosa is who this is right here on the front. That's Thunder Rosa. Uh, pretty cool comic book. I've read, I've gotten a lot of these, and I've read all of them. And uh, they're all like just you know single stories like contained within this book so if you like that kind of thing this is definitely a cool thing to get um there's the back i'll show you some of the inside maybe there's some of the art inside yeah pretty cool uh it says headlock tales from the road presents popcorn match by thunder rosa and mike kingston uh explore the headlock universe with stories and characters co-created by the biggest stars in wrestling this is it, the tragic tale of a friendship shattered and a rival reborn. So there you are, guys. That is Tales from the Road, Thunder Rosa. Uh, little comic book there. All right, so we've got three things left. We've got two shirts, and we have the autograph. I, like I said, I don't remember who was in this box in January. Uh, so we'll look at the shirts first. This is a blue shirt. Looks like Mega Man almost. Is that the, like... Kind of like an old style Mega Man display there. Let's see. Oh yeah, bullet. Oh, that's cool. Clean Man, Bullet Man, Seven Star Man, Fighter Man, Omega Man. These are all different versions of Kenny Omega. Uh, Machine Man and Milk Man. <laughs> so this is a Kenny Omega shirt in the style of Mega Man. That is absolutely awesome. I really like that shirt. I will definitely be wearing this one very often. So tell me what you think about that, guys. It is on a blue, just like a Mega Man shirt should be. It has like the Japanese symbols at the top there. I wouldn't be able to tell you what that is. And then every one of these uh, pictures is like a version of a Mega Man villain from Kenny Omega, you know? So that is actually really cool. So Clean Man, he's the cleaner. Omega Man, Machine Man, One Wing Man, Fighter Man. Golden Man, Bullet Man, Seven Star Man, and Milk Man. So th that's actually a really cool shirt. I like that one a lot. Nice to add a shirt like that to my collection. I have a ton of wrestling shirts. This is from, speaking of Kenny Omega, there is a Kenny Omega shirt right there that I got in this box. Kenny Omega is a big video game fan. So a lot of his stuff is themed video games. Like this, for example, is very Street Fighter themed. Uh, just says Kenny Omega down here and has him doing his, you know, but all right, let's see what the other one is guys. The other shirt in this box, because there are always two shirts, it is, let's see, this one's going to be hard to tell without really looking at it. Let me see who it is. Uh, oh, it's Anderson and Gallows. It is the Good Brothers. Oh, that's what it is. So it's just a bunch of different pictures of Anderson Gallows, uh, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson, there's Anderson Gallows, so that's all them down here with their belts down here at the bottom, and then it says the Good Brothers on the side here, and then uh, it looks like he's got a shirt on with a skull, so two members of the former Bullet Club uh, right there, Anderson and Gallows. That's actually a pretty great shirt to get in as well. If you're not familiar with what's happening in wrestling right now, Impact and AEW have kind of joined forces so that they can have some, like a almost like a, uh, a crossover of sorts. 
Remember the invasion angle from the 2000s? Well, Impact and AEW are sort of doing that right now. Gallows and Anderson work at Impact, and Kenny Omega, of course, is one of the founding members of AEW. So, But they've always been friends ever since their days in Japan, and so they've joined forces to create a brand new group. So the last one of these that I opened, there were actually two autographs in the envelope. This time it just feels like one. I mean, maybe I'll be surprised, but it feels like it's just one. This is the envelope that it comes in every time. It has a uh, purple Pro Wrestling Crate logo there. Sometimes it's silver, black, blue, gold, all sorts of different colors that I've seen this envelope come in. This time it is purple. And it says down here, your official wrestling autograph. That's what it says there, Pro Wrestling Crate. So there is an autograph in every one of these boxes every single month. There are two shirts and then a whole bunch of other really great stuff. I am a big wrestling fan. I love wrestling a lot. So any autograph is always great. Uh, the shirts are pretty much always great. There are a couple of wrestlers I'm not big fans of that I have shirts from, but I do wear them. I still wear those shirts on the occasion, uh, but almost every time I get new shirts, I wear those shirts. Both of the shirts from this box, I will continue to wear whether I go out, whether I'm in here filming a video, no matter what, I always wear these shirts. This is a Pro Wrestling Crate shirt. I have a lot of shirts from Pro Wrestling Crate, but the autographs, are the real big get from these boxes, I think, because it's not very often you have the opportunity to meet wrestlers unless you go to a live event uh, or something like that. And so getting autographs is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So here we go. This is the autograph right here. I don't know who this is. We are about to find out. It could be somebody amazing. Oh, man. Look at that. IRS. That's awesome. He even signed it IRS, so that's cool. So right here the autograph, you can see that is I.R.S. So that is really cool. If you don't know who this is, that's actually uh Bray Wyatt's dad. Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas's dad. He was IRS, part of um uh, he was a tag team with the Million Dollar Man back in the uh, like 80s, I guess you call. Uh, so yeah, very, very awesome autograph. Great guy. Both of his sons currently work for WWE. Uh, it, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame, but if he is not, he definitely will be at some point. That's really, really cool. I like this picture. I like this autograph. It reminds me of my, my younger years when I was a big wrestling fan uh irs that's really cool so there you go guys what do you think about that you can't beat this i mean if you went to meet irs you'd have to travel to wherever the event was it probably cost you 30 40 bucks at least this whole box is 35 dollars, and i got two shirts and then all this other stuff plus the autograph so you cannot beat the value on this box you never can beat it you know every time every month i am extremely happy with these boxes i am so glad that i found this box i'm so glad that i've been following it and subscribed to it for the last three years because it's definitely worth it tell me in the comments below what was your favorite item which one of your favorite wrestling memories what do you think was one of the best matches of all time pay-per-view of all time who's your favorite wrestler these are things i like to hear from you guys because i like wrestling i like to talk about wrestling so tell me in the comments below if you're new here again, don't forget to subscribe. I do this wrestling video at least once a month, but I do a lot of other Funko and collectible videos as well. Uh, lots of stuff coming up. I'm taking a little bit of a break this week, but I will be back within the next week or so on a regular schedule, hopefully. But work has been killing me and kicking my butt, so uh, I wanted to do a pro wrestling crate this week and have that up so that people can come over and check it out. That's really it though, folks. Check out Pro Wrestling Crate and the links are, are in the description below. I put them all below, so if you want to check them out, you can go below in the description and click on the link. Um, no support Saturday this week. No homespun happy hour this week. So, um, like I said, I'm taking a break this week and then we'll be back the following week. So, that's really it, folks. As always, I am Ty Lock. This is Homespun Geek, and I hope you... Have a nice day! Thank you. Thank you. Toma arigato. Thank you. No, they do.